For as we know, love has brought you here. Commitment is what keeps you here. You're going to be making vows to each other, promises that last for a lifetime. And the beauty and the power of these promises are not necessarily in the words that you say today, but in the life that you live hereafter. As dear Cass, I love you. No matter what happens from here this day forward, that will always be a fact. Getting married today is our choice, but loving you has always been out of my control. Babe, I have literally thought and fantasized about our wedding day and marrying you since high school. I can't believe that the 14-year-old girl with braces and bangs will grow into the strong, compassionate, beautiful, and loving woman who will be walking down that aisle to meet me at the altar today. So like any adolescent relationship, their love really blossomed over AOL Instant Messenger. <laughs> and you can just imagine all of the deep, profound conversations that were had between Sweetheart6165 and Cass. <laughs> <laughs> I love your sense of humor and your obsession with everything Disney. I adore the way you need to sleep with something covering your face, the way your hand fits perfectly in mine, and how your laugh can instantly put a smile on my face. I love that your strengths seem to perfectly balance out my weaknesses. I love that we've known each other for 17 years, and that you know high school me, which is one of the things I cherish most about our relationship. We spent so many date nights discussing the concept of fate and the term soulmate. But as I sit and write this letter, Cass, I know in my bones, and that with every fiber of my being, that you are the man I am meant to spend my life with. <laughs> oh my God, baby, you look so amazing. You look so great. <laughs> I vow to spend my days being the best teammate and partner to you. I vow to always make you feel safe in my arms and confident in your love. I vow to be strong when you need it and vulnerable when I need your strength. I vow to always make you proud to call me your wife. I vow to cherish and protect the love God has given us and to live out the greatest love story this world has ever seen. Above everything else, Cast Robert Barron said, I will love you forever. Yours always, Lord. I promise to attack our marriage with the same persistence it took to convince you to give me another chance four and a half years ago. I will always be supportive, faithful, and make it a priority to constantly work on and grow our marriage. I promise to never embarrass you on purpose, to never make you watch scary movies, and to always be your official, is there anything in my teeth, checker. Most of all, I promise to consistently, continuously, and endlessly love you with my whole heart. So it's not going to be easy. It's going to be really hard. We're going to have to work at this every day. But I want to do that because I want you. I want all of you forever, every day, your future husband. <laughs> lost Lauren's dad when Lauren was 10 years old. His spirit has been an ever-present part of our lives these last 20 years. When searching for a wedding date, we of course looked for Friday nights, Saturday nights, but there were none. And when July 22nd popped up on the schedule, I knew that it was meant to be because today is Lou Everly's birthday. Lauren, your love for Disney is something I may never understand. What I do absolutely know is how much my brother loves you and cares about you. For me to be able to witness the bond you two have shared for a long time, it's truly special. For the last 15 plus years, we, the three of us girls, have always said that regardless of men, that we are each other's soulmates. We've shared all of life's ups and downs. And Lauren, we are so honored and overjoyed to share this new chapter with you and to celebrate you marrying your other soulmate. So if you'll all raise your glasses for a toast. Lauren and Cass, we can't wait to spend the rest of our lives with you. 